I want to say that now that the fair is officially open and we got crowds lining up around there, I want to give you a breakdown a little bit, just what you need to know in case you want to come out here this weekend or uh, anytime while the fair is here. Admission prices this year is about 14 bucks, or it is 14 bucks for most folks. Now, children and seniors are 11, and then anybody under the age of five are free. You know what else is free? something called our best seats in the house contest. It's a King five morning contest that we are going to be doing right now. We're going to be doing giving out two front row tickets to every concert at the fair throughout the month. The next drawing will be Thursday, September 6th. It's for a band called rain, which is a Beatles tribute band. It's probably going to be awesome. So let's get back over and talk a little bit more, more money saving tips. If you want to do that, that's also great. But we have Vanessa Mashani here and breaking down how to do it effectively. Is that how we're going to be? Well, just oh, think yes. about it. Like, we've mm -hmm. got parking. You've got events. Yeah, you've got I can add up. food. You've got all these Everything things. Is. And if you have a lot of little ones, maybe you're taking your little one's friends. It all adds up. But right. I spoke with uh, Stacy Van Horn. She's the PR manager of the whole fair. She's like the wizard <laughs> of the fair. She knows everything. She gave me a lot of tips to help you and your family save a little cash. Cool. Getting into the gate. So, Stacy, break down the prices of the admission if you just show up to the window unprepared. So if you just showed up, you didn't plan, which we suggest you do, you just show up at the gates. If you're 13 and over, you're going to pay $14 to get in or $11. For children younger and five and under is always free. We also want to remind people that every student in this state gets a free ticket. You can download our app and you can hit plan a trip and you can plan everything from how you want to save on a mission, how you want to save on food. For the fair, there's a list of 101 free things to do in this concert right here. It's just an example of one of them. But all these stages, mm -hmm. these are all free. Oh, now we're in front of one of the scone stands. Yes. And I understand this is a big, big this deal. Is, this is what everybody knows this fair at. So if you're just coming and looking to save some money but want something kind of filling, a little snack per se, this is only $1.75. Mm -hmm. Something that a lot of folks may not realize that if you're maybe wanting to spend more money on the rides or you want to spend a little less on food, you can bring it yourself. A lot of people think, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to decide mm -hmm. between this and this. And But if you really are a person who just wants to come have a $1.75 snack mm -hmm. and then go on a few rides, you can. Check this out, this is the line for Earthquake Burger. So if you decide to pack your own lunch, not only will you be saving some cash, you'll be saving some time. This is probably what we are most excited about. Maybe the most excited thing in 10 years, mm -hmm. and it's free. This is the farm at Sillyville. It's a new, amazing, hands-on exhibit for kids. Adults can use it too, but it's really our way to get these kids back in touch with agriculture. There are so many things that you can come here and do if you plan properly. You can do it on a budget. The moral of the story is, is that you could really choose your own fair experience and choose how you can spend your money. You can go all out, buy all the food, go on all the rides, but if you plan ahead, you're able to save a lot of cash and still walk away with a memorable experience. You know, and there are so many other ways that you can save that I couldn't fit into that two minute long story. Nice. So if you check out the fair.com, their um, website's very easy to remember. We also have, I think, five ways to save at the fair that's right on our website. Lots of ways to save. You yeah. just got to plan ahead. That's the biggest key. Just know what you're getting into right. before you come right. here. And you know what? We should make this easy for everyone. If you mm -hmm. text the word save, save, save. to 206-448-4545, then you will will get give you that link that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Also, again, if you missed it, you can bring food. That's what I know that's yeah, like the tip of the that. day. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to just because you're at the fair does not mean you have to spend fifteen dollars on a hamburger. You can bring your own your own food. Maybe save your money for the rides. Um, you know, personalize your experience. Decide what you want to spend your money on. Cool. It is kind yeah. of hard though. I did bring a salad. I was like, oh. yeah, but then you're here and you smell all that Let's other food. Honest, I'm not going to eat no. lunch. Like, I'm going to go to that earthquake. All right, so we're getting some of your text messages. And I want to read a couple of those uh, because you guys have been chiming in about the fair. Went to the Minnesota State Fair last week. Must say, doing the Puyallup is so much more fun.